welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with a really cool Christmas DIY. Today, we are going to be making a at home made um, <laughs> tree collar. So I bought another Christmas tree. I think I told you that before for the dining room downstairs. And I had this great idea here to put a tree collar on it instead of a tree skirt. So all you are going to need is this little plastic laundry basket from the Dollar Tree and these microfiber duster mop pads. And I think it's going to be nine or 10. So I'll be able to tell you an exact number as soon as we are done. So that is all you're gonna need. And your trusty little glue gun and a knife. So <laughs> what we are gonna start doing is we are going to cut right around here so we can pop this center out of here. So I'm just gonna go like kind of where the ridge is and we're just gonna cut all the way around it and getting this bottom off here. Now this is the only thing I could find to use, but it will work by just cutting all the way around the inside here, just to pop this bottom off of here. Now just be careful and watch your fingers. Just going all the way around. There we go, now we're getting a smooth motion. Just like that. So now we have an empty top. And then we're going to take our knife and we are just going to cut straight down one side of it. So we're just going to take our knife here. I'm going to go here because I kind of messed up. But we're going to go straight down like that. Just stick our knife. Watch your fingers. Right in there. And come on down. That part's easy. <laughs> so just getting it. My whole thing is always watching my fingers, seriously. And the last thing you want to do is cut your fingers. So we got it like this, and I just got to cut the bottom here. So I'm just going to hold this down here and just cut right through. Turn it upside down here for a second just to get a little cut going. Now you have it where it's going to open to go around your tree. And then we are going to take our microfiber duster mop pads here, pull these tags off of it, and I'm going to grab my scissors. Give me one second. Okay. Just to cut the little tag off here on the inside. And guys, seriously, because you know, I love easy peasy, right? So we are just going to add some hot glue from the top to the bottom. And we're going to stick that on there. So we're going to start at the top here, just adding some hot glue. And then down in little sections here on the plastic. And then all the way down at the bottom. And we're going to take our microfiber pad here, stretching it up to the top, and pulling it down to the bottom. And I know you're not looking at what I'm doing right now, but I will show you. Just like that. 
okay? And we're gonna go all the way around it. I got hot glue on my finger. Um, <laughs> And then you can just add some hot glue if you didn't glue it all the way over. And at the bottom here. And that is as easy as this is going to be, guys. Seriously. That's it. And we're just going to go all the way around here. Adding hot glue to various places here. Probably should have got that ready first. Moving quickly. Okay. Pull it so it's next to the other one. And look at oh, so pretty. <laughs> And we're just going to keep going all the way around, guys. I almost did it again. I probably should have had all these ready already, right? But it's not a race. <laughs> Slow and steady. So we're just going to, again, just the hot glue. And then I'm just kind of going down on some of these, like, center little pieces. And then, of course, adding it to the bottom here. I'm just pulling that up so it goes down to there. And then pulling it to pull down to the bottom. And that is it. And we're just going to go all the way around like I said. Adding some glue just to push that to the side. But look already. Right? So I'm just going to continue gluing these all the way around and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have them all on. Yes, it took eight and I did cut a little piece off the ninth one because it was just spaced out weird. I'm not exactly sure why, but so eight and a quarter, but look how fluffy. I feel like oh, I need to glue something down there, but look how fluffy and gorgeous. Okay. Now, you can leave it just like so. I think I'm going to try to add some silver and some red snowflakes to it. The glitter ones, they come in a five pack. That's what they look like. You can decorate this however you want. You can leave it just as is as well. So completely your call. But I think I'm just going to try to add a little bit to it. So we're just going to cut these strings off of the ornaments. Just to kind of add a little something to it. If I had like a bigger Merry Christmas sign, that's what I was looking for. Oh, excuse me. I found this little one, which might work, but... And now you just open it and put it around your tree. So, I am going to add some snowflakes. Give this a little bit more. Oh, that was a broken snowflake. A little bit more, and there's my favorite word, pizzazz. That doesn't have a string. So, yeah, just cutting those strings off of there. But I thought it would look nice because you guys know that I love, love the red and silver. So that is what we're going to go for here. And maybe we'll add the Merry Christmas line. And I do wish it was a little bit bigger, but I think it will work. I'm just going to turn this so I can see the front a little better. I'm trying to think of like how much of this you're going to see. I don't want to put it too high. So maybe just down a little bit. So we're just going to add some hot glue here to the back of this ornament. And then just 
right in there. So just already, how cute, right? So I'm just gonna take these snowflakes and just kind of hot glue in different little areas here. I'm not gonna do a ton. Keep in mind, you're really only gonna see the sides in the front because this will be in the back of your tree. So I'm just gonna go grab another glue stick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I do not have them all glued on. I was just kind of playing with it to see what I was going to like. And this is what I've got so far. I do feel like I need to pick up a little bit more snowflakes. It does not go all the way to the back, but again, we're not gonna see the back. So unless when I get it on there, you can see the back a little bit more than I would like, then I think, cause I feel like I have some of these somewhere already in the house. So we are gonna have to pick up more if we need. So now, and the good thing is, is like you can stick these to these just to kind of see what you're going to like. So I'm just going to quickly hot glue these on where I liked them. And how easy, right? It literally takes no time at all. And I think this is seriously just stunning in such an easy way to make a tree collar. Just stunning too, because then you could like seriously make it your own. Because like I said, ouch, everybody's style is completely different. I'm a big fan of the red and silver. So that is the way that I went with this. And I think it's gonna be fantastic. So, like I said, color choice, all of that, decorations, completely up to you. But I'm super excited about this. Because you go to the store and you try to buy a really nice tree collar, they aren't expensive anymore. Like, wow. So, we'll just make one. Literally cost, like, a couple bucks. So one, nine, so that's like 10, 11, 12 bucks. So, and look how precious, seriously. Can you not? Like, <laughs> I'm in love with this. So I'm gonna go downstairs and put this under the tree so we can get like a really good look of what it looks like on the tree. And oh, I'm like just obsessed. And it literally took a matter of minutes, not hard whatsoever and so, super gorgeous. So I am just going to put this on the tree and I will be right back. Okay guys, so there it is. And oh, if obsessed is not even good enough word, I really don't think so. But please don't mind the wire hanging there. That's just to plug the lights in um, <laughs> until I could tuck it behind. But this is just one of my little trees that I added to the dining room. And, oh my goodness, that is all I have to say. I am completely obsessed with this tree collar. Just look how stunning, seriously. And so simple to do. But, yep, I love it. I hope you do too. And it was just so fun and so easy to make. So until next time, bye now.